Well, when you hear the term virtual reality, what do you think of? Maybe. <laughs> Those funny looking glasses, but uh, you know, medical professionals are using the technology to treat some very real and serious problems. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how it works. For Michael Rosenzweig, air travel used to induce anxiety, so much so that sometimes he'd actually get off the plane before takeoff. So when he found out about a trial to face his fear using virtual reality... I jumped at the opportunity. After several sessions with a virtual reality headset combined with therapy and an abundance of reading material about the safety of air travel, he says he was cured. I was amazed. I was gratified. I attributed that to the virtual reality therapy. Now some doctors are using virtual reality for treatment of a host of different phobias, including... Driving, fear of heights, fear of needles and blood draws, fear of bugs like spiders, fear of swimming, fear of elevators. Elizabeth McMahon says virtual reality is a useful tool because it lets patients confront what scares them gradually in a controlled setting with the guidance of a trained therapist. We can individualize this to be most effective for exactly what you need to get over your fear. And the use of virtual reality in medicine goes beyond phobias. It's becoming a more common part of clinical practice and treatment because the technology is cheaper, better, and less complex. The range of areas include psychological treatments, cognitive assessment and rehabilitation, physical therapy is a big area. A virtual reality has also been helping veterans and other trauma victims with PTSD. And even though the patient obviously knows what they're facing is just virtual, their brain still reacts as if it's in the real world. But it still requires a trained therapist to really make it work. And these improved graphics are now so realistic, that also helps because it really does feel mm -hmm. real. The real deal. Yeah. Helps right. them take baby steps. Baby steps, exactly. Thank, Thank you, you, Doc. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Mack.